Okay guys, before we get into what today's video is actually about, I just want to bring up a little something. Yes, my hair is wet because I've just had a shower and haven't dried it yet, so ignore that. Um, I just want to bring your guys' attention to something that was only just brought to my attention just the other day. And as I always say, you learn something new every day. You do learn something new every day. And with this whole YouTube experience, I am definitely finding out things and learning things as I go the whole time. And this site was brought to my attention. This pathetic, sad site that, honestly, why would anybody, anybody dream of spending money on this? I have no idea why anybody would dream of wasting the money on this. However... I just want to say a massive thanks. I, f I genuinely feel honoured because this video right here was at 360 odd dislikes the other day. Now, if you take a look at it, it has dropped back down to a reasonable number. This video, however, is on this many dislikes. Now, not meaning to sound big headed or anything, but I don't really think that many people have really liked, disliked this video. I really don't think. So it'll, I'll wait to see in a few days if it drops or not. But if you see this many dislikes on your video, it's probably because somebody has been sad enough to spend their money on this site right here to buy bots. You can actually buy bots. I'm sure you probably can buy them for subscribers as well and to like somebody's video. And I, I don't know. I don't know how it, how it works because I've never been on it and I don't know how much it costs. But if you have spent your money on me, even if it is to dislike my videos, then honestly, I feel honoured. Keep doing it. Knock yourselves out. Spend money every single day and disliking my videos all you want because... I really don't know who the loser is in all this. Me or you? What do you guys think? <laughs> now on to, the, on to today's video and what it is actually about. Now guys, today's video and what it is about. This is about Public Photography 101 for dummies. That's what this video is about. So if you're clever and you know what, public photography is you don't need to watch this video you can you can go on about your day and go watch other videos um i mean you, you might want to stick around and still watch it that it's up to you of course but if you haven't got a clue about public photography and you don't know what it is and you're one of these silly people who think that we need to ask people's permission in public to take their pictures i think you really need to watch this video so as you can clearly see right now I'm in a park. I'm filming myself in a park. I'm not breaking any laws and I'm not doing anything wrong. And as you can see, we've even got a park behind me. Let, let me flick the camera here for you. So, as you can see here, I'm in a nice, lovely park, filming, taking pictures. Am I doing anything wrong here? It's a nice, lovely, scenic park that I come to on a quite a regular basis to walk this one. Don't we, Ozzy? We like it here, don't we? We come here all the time to take pictures, don't we? Eh? So, guys, like I say, am I doing anything wrong here? Am I breaking any laws here by doing this? Now, I wish I could kind of clip my fingers and magically make people appear on this field here and fill it with people but in all fairness this this field field never gets filled with people 
unless it's in the middle of summer and it's a hot summer's day right now we're in the middle of december and it's freezing cold air as you can see it's empty so if i can i'm going to put some sort of picture up here of a park filled with people i don't know maybe not if not just use your imagination and imagine this park is filled with people you know going about the businesses running about playing football whatever it is they're doing would i still be doing anything wrong if i were filming this field filled with people now if it was filled with people would i have to go around to each individual that was in this field and ask each of them to, for their permission what do you think do you think i'd have to go around asking every single individual it for their permission if i can film them or not no i i don't think i'd do by any stretch of the imagination because that would be silly i'm here minding my own business where the people who are magically playing here in this field would be minding their own business for me to actually go up and interrupt what they're doing to say excuse me can i just film you what you're doing they'd find that more weird than me actually just stood here filming this place do you know what i mean i mean that might just be me but they would find that very weird now let me point something else out to you now as i pointed out guys there is a park here and again this park is pretty empty right now there was just a moment ago people playing in this park with their children now again imagine there were children playing in this park now this is a touchy subject i'm not gonna lie if this park were filled with kids right if this park were filled with kids and i were filming it right now again would i be doing anything wrong am i doing anything wrong filming this park right now i know it's empty right now but if it was filled with kids would i be doing anything wrong again the answer is no because i'm not focusing in on the kids i can f vouch for myself and all of the photographers and auditors that we don't specifically focus in on kids faces yeah so if this park right now was filled with children i wouldn't be filming the kids right now i'd be filming the park and the scenery so it's about perception guys if you see someone filming as i am doing now i'm filming a park right now i'm not breaking any laws it doesn't make me breaking any breaking any crime by study of filming this park and whether it was filled with kids or not i'm not doing anything wrong and i don't need to ask anybody's permission okay guys right now i'm filming this building here now imagine this building here as a big wide open window on it in fact let me make it easier for you and do this here we go guys this might make a little bit more sense for you so so as you can see i am out in public minding my own business not doing anything wrong filming the local area as i do many times as i did in yesterday's video right and here's a prime example of a shop front with a big open window now the people in this shop right here right I've got one of three options they can do. They can carry on with what they're doing there, working away inside that shop, minding their own business, working away as I am doing with me, minding my own business, not doing anything wrong. The other option they've got is they could come out and ask me what it is that I'm doing. and to that i could respond any number of ways i could respond by being silent and not saying anything or i could respond by saying do you know what mind your own business and do one but i'm not like that 
if they come out of here and ask me what it is that I'm doing, I'd say, I'm doing a hobby or I'm filming the area. There could be a number of reasons as to why I'm doing it. Or the third option they could do is come out and say, stop doing that. You can't do that. You're not allowed to do that. Why are you filming our businesses there? You're not allowed to do that. Stop filming me. Which, of course, a lot of people do do. They think they see somebody filming and for whatever reason, they see it as a threat. And I'm going to call the police if you don't stop doing that. And they make themselves look like a fool. Personally, if it was me and I saw somebody taking a picture outside of my business, I'd go for one of the first two options. Either let them carry on with what it is they're doing and mind your own business, or come out and politely ask them what it is they are doing. It's not hard, guys, because right now, I'm actually giving this shop free advertisement. You know what I mean? If these guys came out and asked me what it is that I was doing, I'd say, I'm just filming the local area. I'm filming the, you know, I'm filming your shop to bring business your way. You know, and if they were polite to me, I would be nothing but polite back to them. So, you know, that take lessons from this, guys. Right, back to the park. So there we go guys, did that make sense for you? So, it's the same explanation here. I'm filming this building, as you can see, in the park, in a public park, and I'm filming this building here. In, and again, imagine there was a big window, a big wide open window on this building. And on the other side of that building, like I've just showed there in that previous clip, imagine there were people working on the other side of that window. Again, would I be breaking any laws? No. Why would I not be breaking any laws? Because right now, I'm out in public, filming in public. This is private property. But what my eyes can see, if I can see into the window then I can film it because I'm out in public do you get my drift it isn't rocket science guys so as I said if this building I had a big wide open window on it again I could put a picture here now um, it's called create your own privacy so I could put a picture on here now of a big open window and I could see into it do you know how you create your own privacy? Do you know what you've got at home, hung up on a railing? It's called curtains. You close them curtains. That's called creating your own privacy. So you close them curtains so that nobody can see into your window. You get where I'm going with this. So as, I say, as I'm saying, guys, if I'm stood and I have every legal right to, if I'm stood outside your house all day long filming it, I can and I can see into your window, I can quite happily do that. I know it'd be sad to do, I know it'd be pathetic to do, but I could have all right to do that. If you want privacy, you have to close them curtains so I can't see into that window. So as I've just showed there in that previous clip, if you're running a business and you've got a big wide open window and I can see into it, then I can film it. If you want privacy, you put shutters up, you put blinds up, you put curtains up and you stop people from seeing into it. But then you'd be shutting off your business and then you wouldn't be advertising your business. So, you know, it makes sense guys, come on, use your brain. So guys, another thing. Right, again, in the same park, same location. If someone walks past me now, or if someone walks towards me, I mean, check this guy out walking away here, yeah? Check this guy out. I'm filming him. Do I need to go and ask his permission to film him? No, I don't. If he turned around now and started walking towards me, 
yeah, and walking past me, do I need to ask his permission to film him? No, I don't, because who says I'm filming him? You know, who says I'm filming this guy right now? Who else is in the shot? Oh, look, it's Ozzy. I'm filming Ozzy. You know, there's that man over there. And there's Ozzy. You know what I mean? What else is in this shot here, guys? Oh, there's trees and there's birds and there's squirrels up in the trees. So, am I filming this guy here? You know, am I filming this guy? No, I'm not. I'm filming the park. So, again, guys, right now, there's a couple of people in this shot. Do I need to ask their permission? No, I don't. Look, guys, this guy behind me here is happily walking away from me, unaware that I've just filmed him. And like I say, guys, if he turned around and started walking towards me, right, now, again, he could carry on walking and walk right past me and he'd have his face on camera for a couple of seconds. You know what I mean? Um, I wouldn't need to ask his permission. You know what I mean? If you see someone filming, don't presume that the filming you or f whatever it is the filming only that person knows what the filming you know okay guys another explanation here as you can see in the background here we've got a pond full of ducks and right here we've got a man a man holding his child yeah do I need to go up to him now and ask his permission to film him? No, I don't. Now, I know you can't really clearly see his face, but if he started walking up this path now and walking towards me, would I ask, have to ask his permission then if I can film him? No, I don't. Why? Again, because I'm out in public. I'm not necessarily filming that man and his child. I'm filming myself. I'm filming the scenery. I'm filming the ducks. I'm filming this one here. You know what I mean? So, no, I wouldn't need to ask that person's permission. Now, someone pointed out a very good argument to me and said to me, how do I know that that person hasn't been reallocated after leaving an abusive relationship and you know they've been relocated here and they don't want the face showing on the internet which may I add is a very 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 good point to add however again am I going to go up to that person and start interfering and saying excuse me mate you've not been real relocated here have you after leaving an abusive relationship I don't know this person from I don't know this person from Adam sorry I just burped then <laughs> I don't know this person from Adam I don't know what their backstory is so do, am I aware if they've been re re relocated after leaving an abusive relationship? No, I don't. You know what I mean? So, again, guys, it's pretty, pretty obvious. When you're out in public, no matter where it is, whether it be a park like this or a busy town centre or a local high street and you are filming people, you do not need to ask anybody's for the permission. Oh, look, guys. Look, here's another shot for you. Look, I'm filming this park again with Ozzy. And there we go. There's a man walking his dog. Again, just to prove a point, do I need to go and ask that man's permission to film him? No, I don't. Because, again, I'm out in public and I'm not necessarily filming in. I'm filming the park, I'm filming the trees, I'm filming Ozzy, I'm filming the birds. But even if I was filming him and focusing in on him, I, don't, I still don't need to ask for his permission.
Now, a couple of years ago, a couple of years or so ago, two or three years ago, before I actually fully understood what auditing was, before all this auditing, before watching, you know, looking properly into auditing, I made these two videos right here. I made these two videos before I understood what auditing was. But I understood back then what public photography is. And I, as I said, that's why I made these videos here. And fast forward a few, fast forward a few years, I'm now here auditing and being more aware of what public photography is as well as auditing. So for you guys out there who haven't got a clue what public photography is and what auditing is and like to leave silly comments on people's videos of oh this is pathetic why are you doing this going around shoving cameras in people's faces it's not allowed it's against the law check this video out and go and give these two videos a watch or go and watch other people's videos or even better actually go and look into public photography and the law the laws around public photography and actually open your mind up and learn a little bit more about it before you pass judgment and you never know you might learn something new oh i'm glad to be back on blimmin heck it's getting cold out there now but i really hope you get where I'm trying to come from with this old public photography because, guys, I am baffled and I am struggling. Re I mean, please, somebody help me out. Where on earth did the term come from that you need my permission to film me out in public? Where, where did they get that from? Where did they learn that from? You know what I mean? Why do people still go around still thinking that people need their permission to film them out in public? Can someone please tell me? Because I, I get the argument from both sides. Us as photographers, it baffles me and blows my mind how idiotic that some people can be thinking that we need their permission and their consent to film them when we're out in public and yet they can't wrap their heads around why we do what it is that we're doing and why we film out in public and that they still think that they need permission to and consent for us to take their pictures it blows my mind and I struggle to understand it and let's just say I got into quite a healthy discussion with somebody last night. Let me point your attention to this idiotic person right here. So on this video right here I had a comment off this person here which fair enough this isn't the person I've got the problem with however this Mr Bobby Brown here as you can see 38 replies I did kind of get into a healthy bit debate with this person right here it, this person right here seems to think he is standing up to me He's standing up to me and I need his consent to do what I'm doing. I mean, you can go check out these comments for yourself. However, this person is really, really unaware of how public photography works and definitely needs a one-on-one lesson in photography. I mean, these comments that he's left me, like I say, he seems to think, he seems to have it in his head that he's standing up to me. And I know a lot of people say, why bother? Why, why, just ignore him, just delete him. But 
you know, sometimes I just can't help myself. And I am trying to explain to somebody that what I'm doing is perfectly fine and that I am perfectly in my rights to do this. But yeah, guys, maybe you want to go and head over to this guy's channel. Go and show him a lot of love. Maybe send him the link to this video and maybe ask him to look into what public photography is all about. Because this guy baffled me last night with some of the idiotic stuff that he was coming out to me and saying. It really was... I mean, let me leave you with this final thought and question. Anyone who doesn't seem to think that we are allowed to take pictures out in public and take pictures of people without their permission, do me a favour, pull out your phone, yeah? I mean, you might be using your phone right now for, to watch this. I don't, I don't know what device you're using, but uh, hypothetically, pull out your phone and look through your pictures on your social media sites, whether it be Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Videos as well, not just pictures, videos and pictures. Look through them, right? Have you been on a holiday recently? Have, or any time in the past years or so? Have you been on a day trip? Have you been on a holiday with your family or with your loved ones? And have you taken a picture? Have you taken a picture whilst you were there or a video? And in the background of that picture, again, is the people on that video. Is the people on that picture of that video, of that picture you have got up on so your social media. Did you go and ask their permissions of them people in the background of your picture? Did you go and ask their permissions? Because I bet you any money you didn't. And I bet you, each one of you watching this now, you've all taken pictures, you've all taken videos in public, or should I say on private property, mind? You know, when you go to these theme parks and you, or you've been, I don't know, to Disney or something, these are actually private property. Uh, even walking through a shopping centre and you've bought a new outfit and you're showing it off, you're making a silly TikTok video. You know what I mean? A anything. It could, it could be out. Like I say, you've taken a picture in a park of you and your family and you've caught some people in the background and you've put that picture or video on social media did you ask their, their permission because i bet you you didn't so there we have it guys there we have it. It, it nothing more needs to be said really nothing more needs to be said it like i say it just baffles me the idiosity of some people and how they don't understand public photography because all it is is common sense it, is rock, it isn't rocket science because I'm not the cleverest person in the world. Far from it, I'm not the cleverest person in the world. But I've got common sense. And common sense tells me that when you're out in public, that's exactly what it is. It's public and you're allowed to take pictures and videos of anything your eyes can see. Until the next guy, time, guys. Peace out.